Hi, Gene. Hi. How's it going? It's going good. <laughs> we're uh, we're here at the NHA, and you're working on a new project, or is this a, no, an old project? This is a restoration. It's been 10 years, and I've got a couple more hours, and it's all done. You're just about there? We've been five or six days on this. Oh, my gosh. Well, let's go on up and have a look. All right, let's go. Did you originally do this? Yes, we did it in 2005. Yep. It's the fourth restoration. So the problem here is that it's just getting direct sun all day. Yep. So when we get up here to check it out, this used to be all white and it was just totally peeled. And the main thing is getting enough coats of paint on it now to get 10, 12 years out of it. Is that what you expect to get? Yes. That's, that's fantastic. Is it's, there a certain kind of paint that you use to make something? It's Benjamin Moore high gloss house paint. It really is? It is. Now why will, why will it last 12 years when everybody else has to paint their house every five? Well, even when we do the quarter boards and the signs, everything gets two coats of uh, primer okay. and then three top coats. So that's the key? That is the key. And putting it on thin so that it dries. Right, right. So we get them back in 10 to 14 years. Yeah. If it gets direct sun, we're seeing them back in 10. And then the other thing is to maintain it. I'm going to have the NHA wax it every year oh. and a little UV protection. Really? That'll do it well, too? Well, that's what we even do on the quarter boards. And this. Oh, yeah? You can put a little bit of that carnauba? Yes, and this is cleaner wax, and a lot of the store owners should clean the road dirt off their signs. Really? It's good for the signs? It, it is. It, does it is. It'll bring it right back. I had someone come in the other day, thought his sign, his quarter board needed to be redone, and I just cleaned it with that, and it just got layers of dirt off. So, so you, we're almost done. Right. did the banner the other day. These fellows are a little different. I did them with a lot of pigment on them this time. And they've been in the boat for a while, so they've got beards now. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's great. So now you you and Paul own, what is it called? Nantucket Carving and Folk Art. This was the first project that we collaborated on, and that was in 2005 with Jennifer Marlow. And then a year, it was about a year later that Paul and I decided to go into business together. And we've been flat out ever since. It's, uh, I, you know, <laughs> I just did a, a show about Paul and, uh, you know, obviously the contributing factor is the fact that everything has to be wood here. Yes. Every sign has to be wood. Yeah, we're one of the last traditional doing it the old fashioned way. And as long as you maintain it and keep it up, even with the quarter boards and the signs, say 14 years, you might start seeing some cracks appear. You bring it in, you get it repainted, and you get another 14. Now, did you, did you carve these? Or, these weren't carved by you guys, were they? Really? Yes. <clears throat> yeah. This was at the Gosnall building, and they wanted to save the original backboard. And so Paul designed it with the whale coming like this because in the third one you really couldn't see the wheel and I've got Paul's right there <laughs> oh really so that's, why not that's right? Billy Vicendi's Jennifer's got a beard now I hope she doesn't mind and then this is Mitchell Coffin steering the boat oh that's great <laughs> did you change the, the uh, color of the seat I changed everything. You did? This was... It's so bright now, I love yes, it. Yes, this was blue with big white clouds that, because there was no pigment, it didn't hold up. And then the ocean, I did more in bluey greens. And this is dark now. And when the light hits it, it looks just like the water sparkling in the distance. It's great. The whale is now black. And the banner is pretty much the same. Yeah. So just a little darker, richer this time. That's great. Well, I know you guys do a lot of work, like a crazy amount of work for people. Well, if you just And you look. can do anything. <laughs> I know, you can just look down the yeah, street. Yeah, if you just look down the street. 
But um, yeah, whales, eagles. Uh, I'm getting two chairs in to do harbor scenes on the back of Friday. Wow. So we never know what it is we're going to get. Makes That's it exciting. interesting. Yeah, it does. It, it is. Sure certainly does. It and is. challenging. Yes. We have a 42 inch sun to do for an outdoor fireplace in Colorado coming up. Wow. That would so, be beautiful. Yeah. Well, this is wonderful. Thanks for inviting me over here to, to have a close-up look at this amazing piece of art. I mean, it I know really the view is, up here is great, it isn't is it? It is fantastic. So, all right, well, thanks. Well, thank you, Gino. Yeah.